Okay. I've had a lot of confusion with this uh, 1.11 to 1.12 patch. Okay. It's really, really easy. All I gotta get you guys to do is to do this right here. Turn off your PlayStation 3 console if you want to. Okay? You can turn it off right now. I mean, this is this is as noob friendly as it'll possibly get. Okay. <sighs> I'm sleepy. There's my uh, hack PlayStation 3 console, by the way. That's the one with the uh, custom firmware, and that's the one. This is my baby. This is the one that does everything I need it to do. It's beautiful. Okay. My PlayStation 3 is off. Let's turn it back on. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. And if you get a motion sickness, I wouldn't advise you guys to watch this. I'm just saying. There's a PlayStation 3 logo coming on. It's booting on. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn on my remote controller here. There we go, the controller's on. Now look at my screen. I'm going to go over to that one, the remote controller icon. There's a Modern Warfare 2 game. And that's, and that's the game disc. We don't want that. We don't want that. Let's go up one. That's PlayStation Store. Let's go up another one. That's the trophy collection. We don't want that one. Let's go there. To the save data utility. Yes. Push X. I have the online storage, which I don't need. I want that one. Look, there's a Modern Warfare 2 game save. Uh-oh. Save game and player profile. Push triangle on it. Go down to delete. Push X. Go over to yes, because I want it deleted. I don't want it on my game save. I don't want it on my HDD anymore. So we're back to game, or we're back to save data utility. Go up one. Save data utility. We don't have a PSP, so we don't need that. A memory card utility. We don't have a PS2 or a regular PlayStation. We don't need that one. Go up to one more. We have Game Data Utility. Yes. Push X. And looky there, I have a Modern Warfare 2 game save on there. Push Triangle on it. And there's Delete. Push X. Yes, I want to delete it. It's gone. There we go. There is no game data. Looky there. Nothing is left for Modern Warfare 2. I have nothing saved. Now do not click on the Modern Warfare 2 game. Okay? So, now what you guys need to do is we need to go over here to our computer. And yeah, if you're freaking out about my bed and all that good shit, it's because I have a girlfriend. So it's okay. Now, you're going to go to my YouTube channel, obviously. Okay? You're going to go to my YouTube channel, which is I choose fret slash YouTube. And, obviously, you guys should have already downloaded the patch blocker. If you have it, or if you have it, no big deal, no big deal. Looky there. I've got the download link. And when I upload this video that I'm recording right now, I'll go ahead and give you the new download link, because I'm probably going to leak this video. Let's go ahead and download that uh, video link that I gave you guys. It'll be patchblocker.zip. Click here to start downloading from Mediafire because it's it's such a small it's such a small download it doesn't matter. We're going to select OK or Run or Save or whatever your shit comes up with it doesn't matter. I'm gonna double click it once it's downloaded. I'm gonna open the patch blocker and there it is. Check it out. Made by Elite Mossy. Late Mossy Patch Blocker. You see that? My address says 1 point, or 192.168.0.3. And the port number is 8080. Okay? Simple. Simple, simple, simple. So, let's go back to my PlayStation 3. And, under Settings... Let me zoom out of my camera here. Under settings, you see it? There's system update, there's game settings, video settings. We're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom, which says network settings. You probably can't see it on my screen because my phone is gay. Push X on network settings. We have settings and connection status list. 
and we have internet connection which should be enabled obviously and in the internet connection settings that's what we want push X on that adjust settings for connection to the internet if making a wired connection you must have an ethernet cable connected blah 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 we know that so we're gonna push X on OK and give it a minute and then it says select a setting method since we're using the Elite Mossy patch blocker we want to do the custom obviously we don't want to make it easy for the PlayStation 3 to figure out. Now it doesn't matter if you're using wired or if you're using wireless. I'm using wired, so I'm going to select a wired. I'm going to push over, select the operation mode of the network device. In most cases, like auto detect, IP address settings, automatic, set the DHCP host name. Do not set that. Just go over, and then you have the DNS settings. Go over, the MTU. I don't know what the fuck that means. Just go over. And then you have the proxy server. This is what we need to use. So scroll down until you hit use, which is highlighted. Hit X. And there you go. Then you have your proxy server and your address. Your address is going to be what you just put on the Elite Mossy patch blocker. Remember when you downloaded it, you had those weird, those three letters or th three numbers and the dot and all that good shit? Okay. See my computer. I have 192.168.0.3. So that's what we're going to use now. I'm going to type in the 192. I'm horrible with numbers, in case you guys haven't noticed. I'm really, really bad with numbers. We're going to type in the 192 point. We're going to hit the point. We're always going to put the dot or period, whatever you want to call it. And then it's the one, and then it's the six, and then it's the eight, and then it's the dot period, whatever you want to call it, I don't care, point zero, point three. So we're going to hit the zero, and then we're going to go down and hit the period, point three. Here we go. And then we're going to hit start, because we wanted that, and the port number. 8080, which I'm sure that all you guys have the exact same port number, or close to it. My port number is to the right of the Elite Mossy patch blocker. See that? 80.80, or no points, just 8080. And there we go. And that's the point number. And then start, actually no, over. And you want to enable your UMPP. And then just press the X button to save settings, and when you save it, you can test the connection, whatever you want to do, I don't really give a shit, you can, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. And there we go. And you're back on 1.11, or you're actually back on the original Modern Warfare 2 game save that it has. And then, you guys simply go over to your Modern Warfare 2 game? No. No, you don't. You go to your PlayStation, or you go to your uh, computer, you go to your computer and you see where it says start blocking. You click on it, start blocking, and there you go. I don't know if you can see, but that's a thumbs up. That's blocking, and in most cases, I get this, which it wants me to adjust it. You say allow. Click on it, because you want it to allow it, and there we go. Simple, easy, and then you go back to your PlayStation 3, and you wait for me, or whatever you want to do. You wait for me, and... Say you're ready, send me a message that says you're ready, and I'll invite you. It's easy. It's easy, it's easy, it's easy. This video is so long because I try to give you as much detailed information as I possibly could. It's simple. Okay? And uh, if you guys don't understand it, I don't know what else to do. This is as easy as it can possibly go. Alright, subscribe, rate, give me a thumbs up, whatever you guys want. Thank you.